It's a steamer today, and it's starting to rain, so we gotta make this quick. And for the last time at our morning prayer, Christ is risen! He is risen indeed! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Good morning. On Sunday, we will celebrate the solemnity of Pentecost. Before Jesus ascended into heaven, he told his disciples that he would send the Holy Spirit to guide and strengthen them to carry on his mission. This promise comforted the disciples and gave them hope. In the name of the Father, Father and the and Son, and, and the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. amen. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his steadfast love endures forever. The stone, the stone that, that the builders, builders rejected has become, become the chief cornerstone. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, when the advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this silently in your heart. To testify means to give evidence or bear witness. How do you testify to your faith in Jesus? Let us pray to God for our needs and the needs of others, our family, neighborhood, and the world. For each need we say, Lord, hear our prayer. That because of the resurrection, Christians may never fail to practice the mercy that they have experienced in their own lives, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who shepherd nations and communities may tend with care the people entrusted to them, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That, because of Christ's victory over death, the sick and all who suffer, particularly those affected by the coronavirus pandemic, may be sheltered with special care as privileged members of Christ's flock, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our elect and candidates, as they enter into final preparation for the sacraments of initiation, may become for all believers, sources of the sustaining love and unfailing mercy of Christ, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faculty, staff, and students of the Franciscan School and all its benefactors be filled with the knowledge and wisdom of the one who gives life to the world, may, may work generously and courageously for the dignity and value of all people, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray together the words that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Spirit, walk with us each day and remind us to testify of our love for Jesus by our kindness and fairness to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's join together in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We hope you're having a great week as we end up this week on Friday. Remember, next week we have a number of events taking place, including a virtual step-up day, we have a virtual field day, and a read-in day. And I looked this morning and there's already a lot of stories in a um, Google document that you'll be able to look up, a Google folder that you'll be able to look up and listen to at home from a number of teachers who have read stories. 
So look forward to all that. Uh, we have birthdays to celebrate today and for tomorrow and for Sunday. First, for today, in sixth grade, Trevor Jensen. Yay, Trevor! In fifth grade, Molly Lasky. Yay, Molly! Yay! In kindergarten, Michael Murr. Yay, Michael! Yay! Also in kindergarten, Emma Sandspray. Yay, Emma! Yay! Tomorrow, in fourth grade, Nathan Fanibi Sile. Yay, Nathan! Yay! In second grade, Daniel Barber. Yay, Daniel! Yay! And on Sunday, in third grade, Caitlin Styers. Yay, Caitlin! Yay! What do we say to all of our people who are having birthdays today and this weekend? Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! Let's close as we always do with the prayer before the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Most high and glorious God, enlighten the darkness of my heart and give me a correct faith, a certain hope, a perfect charity, sense, and knowledge, so that I may carry out your holy and true command. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. St. Clair of Assisi, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a great Friday, and hopefully the rain will stop. And remember, on Pentecost, you're supposed to have one last piece of candy, Easter candy, to eat. So make sure that you do. I have a piece of crispy bunny nibbles. <laughs> have a great Friday.